Right, Dan lays down in a minute. Um, every time after the raise, and normally sort of like that would be what I would fish as a ray bait, bang it out. But I've got two rods. I bought a carp rod here. If you remember a few months ago, me and uh, Fish Hunter did a video um, using a carp rod, trying to catch a ray on a carp rod. We've actually bought the carp rod again today. Hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll get we'll get a skate on. Um, I am going to try. This is the second edition sea slime, bluey. Um, give it a go. Turn the camera the right way around. Gonna give it a go. Hopefully, this is. And this works on the boat with me. Like I've used it. I've outfished people. I mean, take it or like it. Like it, if you don't use, want to use it, don't use it. But I'm gonna just fish it just to, on this rod today. It's literally got a two up flapper. It's just smaller baits. Two smaller baits. A couple of one oh hooks, and I'm gonna just put a bit of this on. I'll do that now. Why? Try and do it one-handed. Try and do it one-handed. Just a bit of that there. Oh, it's difficult. Give it a little bit of rubbing. Oh. Now look. Right. Now hopefully, I'll be bringing you back with. I well, shouldn't say that word. It's copyright to fish on there, but I'll. Uh, hopefully, I'll be showing you these rigs with a skate on. I'll be interested to know if this outfishes the other rods. If it does, it does. Maybe it's the sea slime. We shall see. Just quickly show you. It's lovely. It's lovely here. There's two rods out with no sea slime. It's lovely. Might buy one of these. They look quite cool. Fish enough. Little break in the weather, so uh, we nipped down. We got here late, um, to be fair. Normally, I like fish here sort of beer like at least an hour before we got down here, but um, we got here late. Um, it looks like other people had the same idea as well because it's heaving, absolutely heaving. We were right up the other end of the green car park, um, but you know, it's, we're out of the wind, it's nice. So, I'm going to cast this rod out and uh, see what we can get. Quickly, I've just cast out, literally just cast that little rod out and I've put it underneath. I could get no distance with it, it is only a pound and a quarter test curve cart rod. But, see that there? That oil slick is where my bluey bait hit the water. It just shows you like how much oil is in, in, in bluey. You see it? I can see it really clear, I don't know how clear it's coming out on camera but it really is. And you can see how far I've cast, but it's not that far. But every now and then you look up and where all the other anglers down there are casting out, you just see these little little bluey, little blue marks where everyone's fishing. Everyone's fishing the same boat, that's what's that's what they're coming out on bluey. But um yeah, like look at the oil, and it's still there and it goes on and on and on. And sometimes you know when a, a ray is feeding you, like, when it's calm like this, you know when a ray is feeding on your bait, or a fish is feeding on your bait, being bluey, because you'll get the puff of the, of the puff of oil come up, and you get the oil slick re come back up again. Um, and then you know that something's got hold of it, give it a squeeze, and the oil will come back up to the surface again. So it's always good to keep an eye out and watch for that. Um, a bit like carp fishing, really. The PVA bag, and you always put a bit of tuna oil in it or something, with the boilies, cast it out. And you, you, would, you would cast, you'd fire your boilies out to that mark um, to know where you're fishing. And again, it, it, it'd go off, it'd drift off with the wind, the wind would take it away. And then every now and then you'll see oil come back up to the surface again where the fish are feeding and they get like stirring up your bait, stirring up the bottom, and the oil's going to come up to the top. So yeah, always watch out for that. Especially in conditions like this, it's absolutely lovely. Let's see what happens. No one's caught anything yet. It is nice. Right, uh, yeah. As you can see, I'm only fishing two rods now. There's a cart rod, chucked it down there in disgrace. Um, snapped off. Can't be to set it up again. No fish. There's, I mean, there's, oh, there's a few people down there fishing, and I'm not seeing one fish come up. It's weedy as hell. So, to be honest with you, I, I don't like it here because I can't cast. It. That's an excuse, but that's all I'm using today. Hopefully, it's still lovely though, I mean, that is lovely. Right. 
talking about talking about nothing. Fishing fishing stories. During the war, I caught a big fish here. Oh yeah, of course did. Just dropped my race off now. Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Waste of time. Um, we packed up and in the end went um, casting. I snapped off races, lead, lost his lead. But yeah, no, it was just weedy, horrible. Um, weren't really worth it. I know there wasn't one ray caught along there. I spoke about six anglers, I suppose. No one caught anything. So, yeah, next time. See you later. Paper. No way. Mate, it's just flown out. Look. You'd see a bit of paper. I just watched it fly out.